If you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon, then this video is for you. We're gonna get into the five topics of why I personally love living right here in Portland, Oregon. Let's go. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Cullen. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Portland, Oregon. If you guys have any questions, please reach out, give me a call. My information's right down there in the description area. In this video, we're covering the five reasons I personally love living right here in Portland, Oregon. Now, right now we're in Lake Oswego where I live in the Palisades and going up a hill, so I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> Number one on my list is the weather. Now, to some of you that might sound a little strange, but you know what? I love the four seasons, having those different seasons throughout the year kind of marks time. And right now, I don't know if you can tell by the weather, but look, I'm wearing my rain jacket. It's got my hood that flips up in case we get a little sprinkle. And this is a perfect example of the weather that we have right here in Portland. Earlier today, it was raining. It was raining a little bit last night. And then now it's like around noon and the rain stopped about an hour or two hours ago. And now the sun's out. We got patches of blue skies mixed in with some clouds. And it just makes for a really, really beautiful day. And you can tell it's a little wet here, some wet spots, but it's already drying out. And it wasn't a big downpour that we get, but we're now we're, it's in October, we're well into October. It's in the rainy season. And that's what makes it so lush and so green here. And the air is so fresh. And that's one of the things I just never gets old for me is just having fresh air. And it sounds kind of weird to say that, who doesn't like fresh air, right? But I mean, you, it, you can just tell a difference. If you live in a big city, the air is just fresh. You know, you can get that, get that rain, really cleanses out the air. So that's one of the main things that I love about living here in Lake Oswego and Portland. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is the natural beauty. That's one of the things that I just never gets old here is the natural beauty that surrounds everything. And that to me, that also goes into weather because it does rain a lot, a little bit throughout the year, except for in the summer. That's what keeps everything so green and so lush. So the nature of just being able to get out, take a lunch break, go for a walk, which I do quite often. You just go walk around your neighborhood and depending on the time of year, you're gonna see flowers, you're gonna see big giant evergreen trees, you're gonna see maples and a real variety that gives you those pops of colors in the fall and then the leaves sprouting out in the spring but also in the winter about half of the trees are evergreens and bushes so you still get a lot of green you know even throughout the winter so that's also really nice as well it's not you know somewhere some places a lot of like in the east coast you're not going to have a ton of evergreens and so so the landscape might seem a lot more brown. I mean, and just look where I'm walking right now through my local neighborhood. I mean, just these tree-lined streets. This is one of my favorite places to walk through right here in uh, Westview in Lake Oswego. And this is a great walking neighborhood. It's got some contours, some hills, nothing too crazy, but it gets you a good workout. And number three on my list is how it's centrally located to other things in nature to be able to go to. And the kinds of things I'm talking about are the beaches. You got Cannon Beach, you got Manzanita, and a ton of other places, an hour and a half to two hour drive from Portland, depending on what which part of Portland you live in, which is pretty amazing. I mean, it's basically around you know, 66 miles plus or minus, depending on where you're at. And the drive to get to the beach is just gorgeous it's not major highway you're taking smaller you know interstate highways and roads and a lot of it's single lane each way and the drive there is just really amazing you're going through some mountains and forests and that's one of the things i really love about going to the coast it's all these little small coastal communities and towns some of them have great restaurants and coffee shops and some of them might just be mainly just housing with just a couple little shops, uh, but they all have their own unique charm. And then if you go the opposite way to the east of Portland, 
you're gonna have the mountains and Mount Hood. You're gonna have amazing skiing and mountain hiking in the summertime. I have several friends here that I've made that do a lot of bouldering and rappelling and rock climbing and it's a paradise for that if you're into those kinds of sports in Mount Hood and that's anywhere from an hour to two hours again to the east depending on where you're at in Portland and it's really amazing being able to have have that and that's not the only mountain there's several others uh, around there and up into Washington as well and then if you want more of that desert feel you go drive three to four hours east of Portland southeast of Portland and you're going to be in more of that uh, desert feel that kind of like Southern California feel to the climate. It really is amazing of everything that's super close and drivable. And in the summertime, you know, if you move out here, you're really not going to do a lot of traveling in the summer because the summers here, the weather's so amazing and sunny and perfect. It only rains usually maybe a couple times during the summertime and that's it. So normally it's blue skies, perfect weather in the summertime. So I always recommend hang out, do local things, travel around Oregon in the summer and in the winter, take your trips, go to, you know, if you're going to Hawaii or somewhere sunny or, you know, the beach, warmer beaches, Southern California or Mexico, you know, whatever you like, do it in the winter so you can have a break in like January, February. And then before you know it, it's going to be springtime. Okay. Check this out. Love, love this yard here right behind me. Look at all the red leaves that have fallen down. Beautiful, beautiful. We got our Halloween decorations going up there in the background. If you can see those back there in that, that tree over there. So beautiful. That's one of the things I love about Portland is just the natural beauty and especially in the fall, getting all those colors. Yes, we're gonna get some rain, but I mean, it's beautiful right now. It feels so invigorating, the air out right now. It's, I love it. So if you don't mind a little bit of cooler weather, Portland could be a great place for you. You know, in the winter, it rarely, rarely gets below freezing here. So that's another reason why a lot of people like it. You know, you do get the full four seasons, but you're not gonna get that crazy snowstorms and ice storms. If you do, it's more of a one-off here and it's not gonna last more than a couple days. And you're not gonna get a crazy snowstorm with feet and feet of snow. Three, two, one. All right, number four. The fourth thing that I like best about living here in Portland are the schools. Being able to have access to amazing schools and I'm talking public schools. There's also amazing private schools if you wanna spend the money to do that. But honestly, if you wanna spend the money on private schools, you can get that in almost probably any city in the United States is gonna to have top rated pub or private schools. But if you wanna have access to the public schools that are top, top rated in the state, Portland has those. Lake Oswego, where we're at right now, has the number one rated school district in the entire state, but nearby are number two and number three. And right on down in that group are lots of other schools all throughout Portland as well. If schools are something that's extremely important to you and your family, then please reach out to me and we can have a deeper conversation because if you're looking to live in Portland, Southeast, Northeast, Southwest, it can get a little bit more nuanced to which neighborhood you want to live in uh, that goes to different elementary schools, middle and high schools. So having great public schools was really important for me when my family and I decided to move here to Portland. That was high up on our list and we were kind of picking the cities on, on where we were going to live. Just having that access to the public schools and being able to have that community feel to the place that we we're gonna move to was really high up on, on that list for us. And number five on my list is the cost of living. Yes, the cost of living for housing mainly. Now, housing for me was way under where I was living before we moved here, which was the greater Los Angeles area in Topanga. 
it was way more expensive for me and my family. We were in one of those high cost living cities, Los Angeles, we've lived in the Bay Area, I'm originally from New York, you know, all those high cost of living cities, it's really, really expensive to own your own home. And that is what we wanted to do. And one of our main drivers of why we picked Portland was being able to afford a home. And we were able to find one in a great school district where it had a good sense of community and we could afford the home. Now, all those things together is why we picked Portland. And don't forget the weather as well was also a big factor and it wasn't gonna be crazy snow and ice storms. So all those together are the reasons why we picked Portland, Oregon. I love talking about real estate. So whatever the question is, big or small, go ahead and reach out. All right, guys, hope you guys got something from this and I'll see you on the next one.